Okay, what is going on guys? It's your boy Nistro here and we are back. Uh the ban list is out. And first off, I'm very, very surprised to not see um Calamity on here. Somehow Mathmex Circular has sinned more than Calamity. And I'm not saying Circular doesn't deserve to get hit. Um, but it's crazy to 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 think that Mathmech and you know, Cybers hasn't done much in the format these past few months, like not since it got limited and they still decided it was worth banning. Maybe because of the new, um, maybe because of the cyber support coming out next year. But yeah, um, Agito, Kalbeck are gone. Thank God. Please stop playing tournament, please. I mean, I'll be honest here. I just reviewed some of the deck lists and this came out right as I was editing the video, right? because of my slow ass editing right and um i was gonna say like i don't think tournament's that much of a threat so or i'm i'm a little surprised at how well tournament's doing and then i kind of remember that the, the statues kind of just make the deck better than it should be <laughs> at the moment so get rid of the statues they should have bring kakalos back if they're gonna get rid of the statues to be honest like i feel like that's the trade-off that should have happened but yeah sorry sorry tournament players um but your, your your deck is gone um for now Isold getting banned uh people could see this from like a mile away uh infernoble was getting way too strong i don't think the deck needed to get a ban on Isold at the moment like but i could see with the new snake eye stuff with like populace and stuff why it could be a big deal that Isold gets hit um then we got the limited page where this shit's just going crazy. Okay, so first off, we got Harp Horror back to one. So Orcus Horus, congratulations, your deck actually works now. Redox back to one. Um, fucking Goki players, congratulations, you can play the game again. Uh, Airlifter limited, which is fine. I I kind of predicted one of the rescue ace would get limited. Airlifter is fine. Um. We still have Rota 3. I mean, uh, we still have Rota. We still have 1 for 1. We, we have the Wanted package. We might have to commit more to Wanted uh, for Airlifter to, you know, to get more access to Airlifter. But that's that's not a big deal, right? We have Emergency. Like, Airlifter getting hit does not kill the deck at all. So, I'm perfectly fine with Airlifter getting limited. Um, Shavara getting limited. This seems to be the only hit to Unchained. And I think it's like, I, I kind of have the same take with both of these. Like... Yes, it will kill the consistency. Oh, it won't kill the consistency. Yes, it will hit the consistency, but you, you're you already playing more than enough cards to dig into what you need with both of these decks, so I'm really not too mad. Honestly, what I hope this airlifter hit does, I hope this makes hi uh, CR Hydrants cheaper so I could buy them again because I'd like to get more CR Hydrants. Um, we got some Sun Avalon hits, which I'm really surprised by. I really don't think Sun Avalon needs hits at this point in the format but um i know like these guys don't have hard ones per turns on them and maybe they just limited them you know to preemptively stop the like hard ones per turn shits um ib coming back if you guys don't remember what the fuck ib is let me <laughs> let me remind you uh This card was toxic. I, actually, this was like one of the first OTKs I actually I ever bring to locals. Um motherfucking Ib, right? So she she's a level five tuner. I mean level five synchro tuner. Well, she is a tuner. I guess that wasn't wrong. And when she synchro summons, she adds a world legacy card from deck to hand. So what you would add is you would add the world legacy guard dragon from deck to hand. And then when she's sent from field to grave, you can special the world chalice monster from your deck, which you would summon out the world chalice guard dragon so you add the world legacy guard dragon the 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 continuous spell card which i actually have a bunch of let me actually just check <laughs> um let me just check if this card oh if this is doing anything right now okay no the the these are these are still tame but this is like the the card that you would search off of um ibly and or ib and the these are all right. Okay. It's, it is, it, it's not going crazy. It's not going crazy. Like some of the, um, like the snatch deals, the snatch deals are going crazy. Um, but Ib, she's, Ib herself is, is like, okay. You know, she's, um, 
she's she's a really good pivot starter so they bring back Deng Long. Deng Long didn't do anything. So I think like now they're like, okay, let's start unbanning some of this stuff that we don't think is going to do anything in the format. Honestly, I think a card like Ib is just a matter of time before it does something broken again. But uh, this was mainly used for Dragon Link. And this got banned when like Argapane and like Pisty were still in the game. Without Pisty and Argapane, I don't know if this card is worth banning. Modern Dragon Link, I don't know how they would consistently make this card because back in the day we used the dinosaurs to make this. We used um we used Obi Raptor, Search, uh Miscellaneous Source, Drop Miscellaneous Saurus, Summon a Level 1 Dinosaur Tuner. So like now that you know Dragon Link is very accustomed to uh you know Rocket Tracer and it's it's a whole new age of dragon monsters. I don't know if Ib is still gonna be worth playing. This, this was like back when I was in high school that this shit got banned. So to see this actually come back, that's crazy. It's been a, it's been a good minute, but it's, it's good to see her back, you know? Um, hopefully she doesn't like break a deck, you know, but it's nice to see like, okay, world chalice and a few other strategies could possibly play her. I also think she can use, uh, yeah, she, for, for world chalice players, right? They can use the normal monsters as tuners for this card. So that's kind of funny. So snatch deal coming back is, is actually kind of crazy. Um, and I think it's perfectly fine only because Esold's getting banned, right? So the, the, the issue with Snatch Deal before is that like Infernoble gets way too much, uh, ability to like mill it and then like add it back off of Renaud or something. So the fact that now that, um, Esold's banned means that they have to dedicate more resources in, if they really want Snatch Deal to, you know, if they, if, if they want to dig for Snatch Deal. Now, I'm a little I'm a little cautious about Snatch Deal coming back because um we did actually just get uh mind control back to three. I know, little spoilers there. Uh but getting mind control back to three and snatch deal back to one means now that Ken Ken and Jen are gonna do a lot more damage now. Like Ken and Jen are actually legitimate starters for a lot more now because now you can just snatch like you don't just you, you you don't need to open the tactics now there are way more routes into opening a one card or into the into the two card combo of um of, of ken and jen but without esold there aren't as many routes as you can go into i been cooking something up and actually with this list it, it's actually going to be uh a lot easier for me to cook that that stuff up so I, I like the snatch. I like the snatch deals come back. It's a easy card to interact with. You know, um, I don't think it's extremely broken, but it definitely can be a game changing card. Um, and next we got goals and rivalry and, 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 and TC bow. Um, wow. Uh, floodgates getting limited. I feel like this is again, it's not really because of any particular deck in the format, but rather just as a, Hey, um, let's just get rid of this toxic shit. Now they didn't get rid of shifter. They didn't touch shifter. They didn't touch epidemic virus. So labyrinth is still going to have a field day with their, um, with like epidemic virus, uh, Fluanderies still going to have a field day with harpies, fetter storm and shifter, uh, vanquish soul. It's a, it's, it's a tiny hit to vanquish soul to hit TC bow, but they still have access to shifter anyway. Um, so this is like, this doesn't like kill any particular deck. And then they brought skill drain back up to three, the other format, right? Like they bought skill drain back up to three. Like, so I don't know, like these, these kind of like lock you out of summoning mechanics. So I guess they're like less fair than skill drain. If, if, you know, there's a comparison, but I definitely, um, I definitely understand why these are on the list. I don't think these shouldn't get hit. I definitely think these being on the list is correct. I'm just trying to understand the logic. Now, Redox, Redox is is one that um, I'm actually going to be really interested to see like what Go Keys can do with Redox. And I don't know what other Earth deck people are playing right now. So I think it's like there's Go Key. Like what cool Earth decks have? Oh, Earth Machine reviving their monsters yeah i mean you kind of limited some of goes into rivalry and like goes into rivalry was like earth machines go to so now like you kind of lose those and you get redox i mean 
cool. Like for like the Vernacil shit. That's cool. It's a cool little something. It's basically just another Vernacil. Like actually, now that I think about it, like Redox is just another Vernacil monster. Um, except it doesn't lock you into Earth only. So now with our semi limits, we have Pancotrops, which okay, they really want going second to like it seems like they really want going second decks to um to 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 be a lot better, right? By giving us back snatch deal, limiting floodgates, and now giving us back a car like Pancatrops, giving us back a car like Terror Top. These seem like um it they they want um going second to be a lot better. And Terror Top, Terror Top actually went crazy. Actually, let me let me show you guys. Um I know I <laughs> I, I, I looked at the fucking uh, prices of shit before I made the video. I know, I'm a piece of shit. But look, Teratop's going crazy right now. Look at this. Look at this fucking chart. Oh my god. <laughs> that shit went to the fucking moon. Okay, look. This chart isn't even accurate because it's saying 40 right here. Like, it can't even calculate, like, how high this th these numbers are about to go because... Uh, our lowest value here is like 78. I'm dude, I literally just like I have a s ulti terror top like uh or I got a ulti terror top like preemptively for a deck that I wanted to make and I was like maybe I shouldn't get a second one cuz GC had these on sale and I was like maybe I shouldn't get a second one. Maybe I should get like a uh maybe I should just keep it at one. If, if a second one, you know, comes out, then I'll get a second one. Now I'm looking at these prices. I'm like, fuck the second one. I'm getting some goddamn star foils and I'm selling this fucking ulti because fuck that. Um, <laughs> fuck that $78 price tag. I'm not doing that. I'm not keeping a car that's worth almost $80. And then you look at the comments. This is like some, this is this is like some uh, Atlantean type shit. You got like two different commons. You got a Starfoil and you got a Super Rare. I'm just picking up Starfoils and I'm calling it a day. Fuck that, bro. I'm not keeping this goddamn ulti. I'm not keeping this ulti, right? Because that would, that would be silly for me to keep this ulti at this point in time. I don't even know like what deck this would even be played in, right? Like Invoker didn't come back. Um... Unless you're going to play the new, like, Goblin Rider deck, or unless you actually play Speedroids, I don't know what other deck this could be useful in. So, I don't know. But yeah, cool. Uh, Sleepy Memory to 2, that does, like, nothing to stop Pearly. Like, Pearly is a crazy-ass deck, so you, th you think them drawing one less card is going to make them, like, off of Nor is going to make them, like, a, a, a worse deck? Like, Pearly is still going to be good after this list like this this list does not hit pearly at all um so it's actually kind of crazy like they they kind of let pearly slide off this list with like with like no no real hit they also let labyrinth slide off this list with no real hits um tier rescue ace and unchained kind of took like the brunt and <laughs> infernoble tier rescue ace unchained and infernoble kind of took the brunt of the hit uh code talker took a stray because or Code Talker and Math Mech took a stray, like Cyber's Pile took a stray because of Circular. Link climbing with Circular is kind of ridiculous. I'm not even I'm not even gonna hold you. Um, but access code OTK still exists. So Heat Soul Control players, uh, you might want to dust off your Cynet Codex because you're gonna need them. <laughs> um Okay. Now for the unlimited Infernity Archfiend. I didn't even know this card was still on the list. I'm keep, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I didn't know this was I didn't know Archfiend was still on the list. Unicorn going back up to 3. They want Kashira to still be alive for some reason. Uh cool, I guess. Um Mind Control going back up to to 3. Again, Ken and Jen. Desires going back up to 3. Cool. I mean, it came at rarity collection, so I guess Desires are going to start going up in price, right? Um, Marincess players might be, m might enjoy this. Um, Sword Soul players are going to enjoy this. I don't know a lot of decks that want to play Desires at the moment. Like, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. Um, Spellbook of Judgment back up to three. I don't know what this means for Spellbooks. I don't know what this means for Spellbooks. Uh, I know there was like a Spellbook Dogmatica, um, you know, deck that was 
going around when Judgment first came off the list, maybe Spellbook Dogmatica might see more play again. Uh, Sprite Starter. Oh, man. I, I, I just really don't like Sprite as a deck. I'll keep it real with you. Um, even if... I just think the deck is way too fucking... Way too fucking consistent. They, they get everything they need off of fucking Gigantic Resolving. And... Really, like, if you've never faced off against Sprite at full power, I mean, this they're still not at full power. They don't have um, Elf. Like, Sprite at full power was just stupid. So, I, I, I like, that's that's my own personal vendetta against Sprite. But, like, it, you know, kudos to them for getting Starter um, off the list. Personally, I, I'm a little bamboozled that there's no Runic cards on here. Um, like... Everything kind of like meta and like tier two ish is like catching strays and like getting hit. But other than Labyrinth, really, probably got a slap on the wrist. Um, and then like upstart to three, like this is gonna change like deck design for the next for like god knows how long. We are back in the Hoban days, like, this is significantly gonna change how we play the game in general, how we, like, view our, our, uh, yeah, I, I already ordered a place <laughs> off the TCG player, <laughs> because I'm like, holy shit, Upstart's back! This should have been in the fucking Rarity Collection. God damn, I would love a QCR Upstart, or even Collector's Upstart, this should have been Rarity Collection. They better make a Rarity Collection too before they stop this 25th anniversary shit, they better make a Rarity Collection too. Um, but god damn, Upstart's back at full power. Sprite, I don't care. I mean, like, I, I I'm I'm mad, but like I, I really don't care. Like to they to me, in, in my mind, they already had three starter. Like they have blue jet. They they basically already have their full deck. They have um Sprine. Like this just doesn't make a difference to me. Although, I don't know why you'd want to support Sprite. I just find it funny. You know, you just made the best Link 2 in the fucking history of Yu-Gi-Oh. You just made the best Link monster in Yu-Gi-Oh history, and it's a Link 2. And you're like, okay, let's give Sprite a little more. Otherwise, yeah. Uh, that that sure is a ban list. Um, let me know what you guys think about this list. Uh, fuck, man. I mean, like, even as a Rescues player, I'm really not mad that Airlifter's limited, as long as it's not banned. I, I really could give less of a fuck, right? Emergency still... <laughs> Emergency is the car that you guys really have to worry about. Airlifter doesn't really do much um, by itself, right? Like, Airlifter is just one piece of the, of the puzzle, and now that we have the wanted shit, like, you know, um, I'm still maining three Book of Moon. I, I, I guess you guys haven't even seen my list yet, but I'm still maining three Book of Moon. Um, I gotta do a post ban list rescues list. And now I'm gonna have to include three fucking upstart in every fucking deck I make. God damn. This is really gonna change everything. This is like We're gonna have 37 card decks again. 37 card decks have gone back up to three. Like, especially in a format where we're like, man, we really need more and you know because the argument is for upstart like why would you want to draw upstart when you can just draw a hand trap but that doesn't apply to the person going first that doesn't that really doesn't apply to the person going first like the person going first is going to benefit up their up their upstarts the person going second is going to be like well why am i playing upstart when i could just be playing hand traps so now it's going to be a little bit of a you know, now the person going first has a consistent 37 card deck. So we lost three slots. I mean, or like for Rescuace, for example, Rescuace lost two slots due to Airlifter getting um, limited. But now I get to go down to a 37 card deck, meaning um, now I have to calculate the probability of getting of getting a route into my combo out of 37 cards instead of out of 40. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. I, let me just stop talking. Let me go back on TCG player and, and keep ordering shit because this market's going to be crazy today. <sighs> uh, 
Man, I am I am in shambles. I keep looking at this list. I'm just in awe. We have not had a list like this impactful in so long. Um, also, r rip to Ignites, because uh, <laughs> this card, single, Isolde was the glue that held Ignites together, even though I wasn't playing them in this format. Uh, rip to Ignites. Um, it, it was fun while it lasted, I guess, because they can't use Beyond the Pendulum. <laughs> And we don't have Electromite, so rip to Ignites. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I have a super rare Harpoor just sitting in my binder. I also, like, so what's funny is, is that we have Harpoor and we and we still have triple the Gearsu. So, like, OCG has Harpoor, but they only have one Gearsu. Like, the, the starter Gearsu. So, uh, who... Uh, Orcus is now going to be better in TCG than it is in the OCG. Oh man, the Dingirsu. I just moved all my Dingirsus too. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. How how could I not predict the Ding? How could I not predict the Ding? Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Okay, we're good. This this shit's still worthless. Never mind. Never mind, we're good. It, it's it's definitely rebounding. Yeah, this this is the one I'm a little mad about. I did have a QCR ding, and it was only like eight bucks like two days ago. So that that I'm a little mad about, but otherwise it's fine. Okay, QCR ding. It's not like I was gonna use it anyway. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> oh, let me check harp. Let me check harp itself, right? Because now that harp's back. I mean, it's limited. It's not gonna go up like crazy. I guess this is going to turn into a, a market watch because I don't feel like pressing. Oh, wow. This shit's went up to like tens, 10 bucks, eights, eights for Harpoor. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, upstarts are going crazy. Uh, oh, upstart goblins are going crazy. I don't think there's any alternate rarity of upstart, right? Yeah. Let's just type in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, upstarts are going crazy. I mean, that's that's just a super rare. Like, who cares? It's just a super rare. Like, I'm not paying that much for it. Like, the ultra's right there. You got more super rares right there. Like, you're paying for, like, the fucking pack. You know? Like, that's stupid. Um, Yeah, dude, these were at 50 listings before I started recording. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, they better not give me that email like, hey, uh, oh, shit. This nigga got 200 of them. Hey, look at this. Wall of China right here. <laughs> hey, we, we got 200 fucking upstarts for $2 each. Let's go. Um, Goddamn. Uh, Pearly is fine. Let me check if uh, Rescue Ace is going down in price. Hold on. Come on, guys. Sell your hydrants. Sell them. Sell them. Sell them. The deck's not good. No, just kidding. I, I I just want these to get cheaper. Oh, regular hydrants. Regular hydrants going down to 19s, 20s. Okay. Big tank. Big tank. It's like Ancient Gear Golem tanker. Yeah. You know, Ancient Gear support just got announced and now cards are tanking. So hydrant is tanking. Um, I guess tier is going to be tanking too, right? Um... What is it? Fucking Perlerino? I don't know how the fuck to spell the tier limit field spell. Let's just type in Power of the Elements. I don't know how the fuck to spell the tier limit field spell. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. The, come on. These have to tank, bro. Come on. Come on. 20s still? Y you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. <laughs> um... Goddamn. Uh, yeah, we know Ib is like 20-something. Let's check Redox. Redox shouldn't be too crazy, right? There's, there's, there's no crazy Earth deck coming out. Anytime. Yeah. Redox is fine. Let me check Secrets. Secrets are like uh, 6, 7. Let's just go near Mint. Let's just not even waste our time. Let's go near Mint. Uh, yeah, sevens. That's fine. That's fine for 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 Redox. That's fine. 
rares are looking at like three dollars that's fine yeah redox is is good that's that, that's a that's a good price that's a good price for redox i, I think that's a good price if, if you held on to a redox for this long congratulations you have a three dollar card uh Ooh, Spellbook of Judgment. Let, let me see what that's doing. Because you can tell how confident people are in what they buy out. You can tell if people are confident in shit. Wow, it's not even on the first... Spellbook of Judgment... Not even on the fucking first uh, page. Why? Hold on. Hold on. All these listings are still here. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, yeah. It's, it still exists. I'm like, why is it not showing up? It, okay, it's still there. Wow, these went up to fives. I think... Do I have it in my binder? Still, did I trade it? I might have traded it. No, I still have my judgment. Okay, cool. Pulled a QCR one. This used to be like... This was literally the cheapest QCR. Um... For the longest time now it is not yeah i mean none of this shit's gonna change none of that shit got touched desires uh desires qcr let's see come on this shit has to be getting sold out no desires qcr still at the same price this is like max rarity for the shit Oh, I mean, I guess the ulties. But yeah, no, it's 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 like a sane price. Well, yeah, for for like an ultimate rare, for like a old, for like a regular ultimate rare, this is a sane price. For something that just went up to three, because not enough decks use it, you know, nowadays. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I think that's everything. I think that is everything. I I well, I guess I just picked up Unchained. Let's see how big the damage is. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think Unchained will survive. Um, wow, these went down to fours. Fives? Sixes? Okay. D these are like eights. So, yeah. Lost a little bit of value. Yama's going to stay the same price because... Because um, Labyrinth also uses these two. Uh, so maybe that's why Red Dog got hit. Because Labyrinth was also using it. Like, that's not really a Labyrinth hit. I don't really consider a Labyrinth hit because Labyrinth can play without the Unchained stuff, but... <sighs> I'm not even going to edit this video. I'm just going to upload it, like, as it is because fuck it, right? Um, Yeah, that's uh, about it. Mind Control doesn't have any crazy rarity, does it? I don't even think people are going to want to buy this shit out, but we'll we'll, we'll see. Control you go. Yeah. Mind control's fine. There's there's too many reprints um for this shit to to go crazy. Um so what does this mean for the meta coming forward? Snake like this doesn't change anything, I don't think. Um uh, this might make <clears throat> this might make Fire King better than Rescue Ace. I'm not even going to hold you. Fire King might start topping more than Rescue Ace once uh, Bonfire and Populous come out, like, post-February. Because December is pretty much over, right? Like, Christmas is in less than a week. December is pretty much over. Um, and, like, Math Mac getting hit doesn't really change anything. Tier Limits getting hit, which I'm really just, like not too bothered by tournament getting hit because i feel like the statues deserve to get banned for a while surprise could callous didn't come back but you know there's there's always next time there's always next time for kikalos ah uh, they thought they thought look, look, look at that spike in price they thought um yeah i mean yeah, people are still buying it on the Copium. That's crazy. Why are you buying Kakalos today, my brother? <laughs> today, bro said, yo, I don't I don't give a fuck what Konami said. This, this is like niggas buying Electromite, bro. 
They're not bringing Electromite back. They just made Exceed the Pendulum. They're, they're, they're not bringing it back, brothers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. At, at, at least they're not coping on, on uh, Electromite purchases. Uh, wow. This is, this is a lot to take in. I'm, I'm still just like, I really thought I would, I, I've already thought I'd, I would finish a video twice. And yet here we still are just talking about this. Oh my God. These comments are hilarious. Uh, floodgate limits, a lot of cards coming back for various strategies, right? Uh, where the fuck is Karen? Where is it? Where is Karen? What the fuck, you assholes? You're gonna make all this Magic Spectre support, then just not release Karen? Bunch of headasses, bro. Five heads. Five heads at Konami, man. Where are my boys? No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Dryden, Dryden can't come back. Invoker. Invoker's gonna take some time. I, I don't know. I don't trust us with with invoker yet I'm, I'm i'm sorry i don't trust niggas with, with invoker at the moment uh this will affect the dragon deck i think yeah th that's 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 how i feel that's that's really how i feel about it uh wow i'm posting that in discord Posting that in Discord, that's funny. That's really funny. Uh, dude, this is gonna do nothing in World Chalice. I'm sorry. I don't know what World Chalice does, but it's, it definitely does not cook. Honestly, one reprint of this card and it's its value is getting smashed. I'm, it's, it's only expensive because it doesn't have reprints, I believe. I don't think it has any... Re yeah, it only has one printing. Right? You only have one printing. Yeah. From Dark Neostorm. Justiciar. Yes, I can pronounce Justiciar. Thank you. Uh, what did Sun Avalon do? Let's find out. People don't know how to play against Rookie Sun Avalon. One year back-to-back -back plus YCS tops was first rounds at Worlds. Just Joshua didn't touch grass. Uh, two Europe champs. Yeah, you know that's that's fine. That's that's a fair assessment. Like we here in America keep like roasting the European players because it's like, oh wow, you don't know how to play against Rikus and Avalon. It's like, yeah, but the deck did top. So if it if it topped, it should it it does deserve to get looked at. You know, at least. And those hits don't really affect the deck. Like, the deck is the deck is just fine with these hits. Like, this doesn't do anything to Sun Avalon. Like, objectively. Like, now if I imperm your first dry S, you and you don't open uh, Sewing, then cool. You stop your turn, but... I don't think this will kill Sun Avalon. If, if you're already playing Plant, then it's, it's, it's not a big deal. There's no reason to stop playing plant because of this list. <laughs> Don't ever let him cook again. Hey, uh, man, I'm 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 gonna miss Isold. What what? <laughs> Overreacting, bro. This is like when Pearl when Delicious Memory got limited, and then Pearly players were overreacting. Uh, well, they're not dead. They're just limited. Is that Nitwit Outwit? Oh, no, that's Rivalry. I thought that was Nitwit Outwit. I'm like, bro, that's the wrong card in your artwork. On your meme. <clears throat> yeah, Inferno and Archfiend. Actually, let's... Uh, let's look at... Let's look at Inferno, these fucking Kallen motherfuckers. I used to have some DTs of this. I don't know where they went. I think I moved them. Actually, yeah, I, I think I did sell these. But I used to have some DTs of these. And it looked really cool. Uh, I don't know what Infernities are supposed to do in 2023. They, they, do, they do still have Barrier. They still have Barrier, so... I don't know. Like, they have Launcher at 1. 
I believe. Or did Launcher go back up to three? I forgot. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, close enough. Ban list. View the list here. Let's see. Let's see. Infernity launchers, yeah. Still limited. Um. Okay, so Archwing was still limited. And, yeah. I guess, um, congratulations on getting, you know, Congratulations on getting three Archfiend. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna let the Infernity people cook. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to making my Ancient Gear video now. Um, probably, probably gonna be up before the end of the week. Um, hope you guys enjoy. This has been your boy Neistro. Finally signing out this time. Peace.